Fog Town, yeah. We're here, San Francisco. Uh, it's foggy here. We got a lot of fog. You know? We got different kinds of fog, different kinds of moods. It's kind of almost like a cop out or a slang term. I don't know. I'm, I've just been just going around lately. I've been saying it, my friends have been saying it. But it's Fog Town, you know? It's cold out. Life's cold, it's Fog Town. What are you gonna do? So, you know, I had to make a piece for it. The theater's down on mission. Those are, uh, definitely some of some of my beacons of creativity. I've, uh, I've worked under them and, you know, walked under them for 13 years living here. And they're, they're kind of like giants in their own right. I'm still amazed by them when I look at them. I guess that was a really magical place for graffiti and, you know, what people consider street art. Uh, in the early 90s and the late 80s. The graffiti's changed a lot in that it was really homegrown before. You had to know someone, you had to be somewhere, you had to take a photo yourself. There wasn't like an online community and, and the periodicals came out so infrequently that it wasn't, there was no real current that you could tap into like today and have that content and be like, I want to live that lifestyle. I want to, I want to be that person. There was no, there was no groundwork for that. Now there's groundwork. It's a war paint. It's a, uh, it's kind of a, a lot of autobiographical work about <clears throat> what, what it's been like living in California the last 20 years and some of the images and and emotions that it's instilled in me, you know, kind of through painting. You know, and I couldn't have done that kind of stuff without people like the Seventh Letter, who, who were the first people to ever take my artwork seriously beyond just graffiti. And, you know, the stuff we did on, on walls in California and in the streets. You know, just for enjoyment and quality of life and feeling like you were somebody when you didn't have anything. It was, it was definitely a thing among my friends. All those guys were the first people I, I traveled the world with and you know, got to do those huge group shows in Barcelona and Tokyo and Taiwan. It's cool, you know? I didn't think in a, in a million years I would ever get to go to foreign lands and have to get a passport because of graffiti. And that, that, all that stuff is due to the seventh letter, my man Eclipse, and you know all the dudes that have been doing this movement and pushing it hard. <laughs> Thematic, more muralistic stuff, like stuff that's for the community or it's just vibrant and gives back to a neighborhood that could be, you know, without that kind of cultural amenity, it's, it's nice, you know, so any excuse to do that kind of stuff is always rad. When you see someone have an amazing location, a uh, great, like, execution of the location, you know, it's, it says something to you, you're like, oh, this is, this is a little more than just scrawl. So, uh, you know, I tried to keep that in mind. You know, things are, are growing faster and the, the movement has got a lot of momentum and there's like a lot of hybrids of different ideas that there wouldn't normally be. And out of that, there's gonna be some really, really good stuff I'm sure to come in the next 10, 20 years. Thank you.